Because you can use a single email address to reach everyone at once, it's now easy to send messages, calendar invitations, and share documents with your entire team. Here are some of the top ways to use Google Groups with other G Suite products to collaborate better. To email the group in Gmail, on the left, click the Compose window. Next to two, instead of adding each team member's email address to your email, just enter the group's email address. These Google Group email addresses are great for sending out emails, but they're even better for sending out calendar invites and sharing Google Drive files. Go to Google Calendar at calendar.google.com and create an event. When adding guests, use the Google Group's mailing list email address. Notice it's adding all the other members into the calendar event. Click Save or More Options to add other event details, such as a reoccurrence. If you didn't want the group members listed, uncheck this See Guest List. Here you can click Send to notify the guests and invite external guests. This was prompting me because I had a Gmail user that was part of the members list and not part of my G Suite domain. You can share a Google file with a group, like an online document, spreadsheet, or presentation. Open the file or folder in Google Drive and click the share button. Enter the group's email address so for here, as an example, I have a folder of all my training videos that I want to share out to that group. I'll click the share button up here. Now we'll enter the group's email address and we can also put in a note to the group. People you add to the group later can also access the documents. Similarly, if you remove a member from a group, that person no longer has access to the content you shared with the group. Click the Advanced button here to reveal more options when sharing with others. If you're sending a message, you might also want to check the Send a Copy to Myself as this message won't appear in your sent message items in Gmail. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. I appreciate your likes and your comments. They help me make more impactful videos. Stay tuned for the last video of this Google Group series where we'll be talking about marking group favorites and viewing and edit membership settings.